down. Hi everybody, it's Pat. We are on Friday night, so this is kind of an experiment for me to um, just basically hang out and sew some things. I put a few notes into the uh, description there, mostly that if you ask me something, I am going to follow along on my trusty tablet uh, so I have to sign in and there's a delay there's like what seems like an enormous delay from you typing and me being able to read it so um, we'll have to be patient and I will try, I'll go back like I do all the time I'll go back and see what all is there uh, so this is a really relaxed um, you know just sit and sew basically I have a lot of projects that I could sew and really had a hard time trying to figure out what to do because a lot of things I need the way I work normally is I will cut stuff sew a little bit put it on the wall I mean there's a lot of moving around when I'm sewing I don't normally just sit here and piece or anything like that but I do have the one project the Christmas one that I am experimenting we'll see how this goes I'm experimenting by cutting everything out in advance so I do have that so let me sign on while you're all up there and uh, I hope you brought something to sew or just you know something you can hang out um, so that you can do do something while while we're you know chatting okay so it takes me a minute here to uh, go over to Facebook on my tablet uh, and then I have to hope that it doesn't you know like log off that I'm at to log on again <laughs> it's a it's a process so I am looking for the video in my group and the tablets not as fast as the computer nor you know you know how your phone is the tablet is it's the way it is so I am going to bring it up here so tonight I have a few things I've got the machine the sewing machine is fired up and uh, oh thank you I see some comments thank you Robin I'm glad you like my hair I just had it done uh, I haven't washed it myself yet you know how that is when you get your hair cut and then uh, you need to wash it yourself and just you know do your own thing I haven't done that yet but I will I will so I've got the uh, sewing machine on and I'm going to be able to flip back and forth so that when I'm sewing in a little bit uh, I can do this that's fun right so I can make it uh, close up so that you can see and then you can also see me in the corner but I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it back for right now so that we're talking to each other so I am looking on here and I am able to oh so Deb says yeah she found me yay yes hopefully and there's some Pat's call, calling in there from Queensland Australia this is exciting Ohio Sabine from Australia is everybody in Australia awake now hey <laughs> so what do I have tonight I have a few um, you know what I made you see behind me see the house blocks I I have these pieces see the, that's the roof from the house blocks these are the ones that got trimmed when I uh, did the the roof you know so there's the the other side I'm gonna sew these the rest of these up into half square triangles because they're too big a trim off and then I don't know I might do a mug rug or something or I might use them Maybe I'll use them somewhere actually in the quilt maybe do something funky I don't know but I'll use them when I start and stop so that my threads don't get sucked suck down into the the feed dogs so that's what I'll do there now I have to on the tablet I have to sort of refresh the screen it's not so it's not really running your comments in 
automatic. So, uh, yeah, that's the way it is, right? What do I have? Let me, let me just um, show you. I don't know how I'm going to do this. But for the project that I told you about yesterday, the holiday um, Christmas quilt, where is a picture of it? Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is the pattern. And I put a link so that you can um, download it. It's a free pattern uh, from Tula Pink for her, uh, with her Christmas fabric called Holidays with Our Homies. And that's the one with the animals. Let me get one. Oh my God. Look, isn't that hysterical? So that, those, this is the center of the stars these guys and what I did is I cut all of this stuff out so that I can just sew we're gonna see how that goes tonight and I have to pull all this over here because what I'm attempting to do is do all this work and stay stationary so I'm not getting up and going and cutting because I can't have the camera following me to do that and not for fun sewing anyways you know if it were not 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 830 at night so what I did is when I, I cut everything out, whoops, where's it go? Okay, when I cut everything out, can you see? I did um, the, I ticked off everything as I finished it, you know, like I marked it off so that I could keep track that I cut everything. And I know a few of the pieces I cut extra just because they were just sort of like the end of the strip. Do you do that too? Just like, just in case one of them is really weird when you go to sew with it, I've got some already cut because they were just sort of small pieces anyways. So that are, those are sort of the directions. The other thing I have, which I'll have to put a link to them, is tonight I have the unicorn scissors. Yay! So I will be trimming, you know, whenever I need to cut a thread, it's like... I have to wear, I have to use the cute scissors. <laughs> Do you have cute scissors? Okay, so I'm going to look, see if you're telling me. Because everybody's telling me where they're coming from. Okay, so Sabine wants to know how to make mug rugs. So they're pretty easy, Sabine. They're just like make a square and a little quilt. The mug rugs are just tiny quilts. That's all they are, is they're like a six inch square or a six by 12 inch rectangle. And it, then quilt it and put binding on. That's a mug rug. That's all it is. They're really easy. They're fun. They use up all your scraps. Okay, so Facebook did not like me on my tablet. It just came in like there's a big error. So, ah, I can't see any of your comments at the moment until it decides to come back. So I'm gonna sew these. We're gonna be here, I'm gonna be here for like maybe another, you know, like an hour total. So what I want to do is I'm going to sew these guys. Just a few that I have left. So I will switch over to the, uh, to the close-up. And you can see I have tonight, I sew on a Baby Lock Destiny 2. And I have the, um, the guide beam on. Even though I have a quarter inch foot with a guide, I also have a guide beam on. They come back? Yeah. The shipping department is checking my tablet. I think I overloaded it. So the guide beam, even though I have the quarter inch foot, I still like to use it so that I can, um, you know, just keep sort of straight. It helps me focus on keeping straight. And these are all of the pieces that I have left for the leftovers from the house that one back there the big house which is block number six that I love to make quilts for the be my neighbor so along so that one uh, I've already done a bunch of the of these guys so let me cut that and uh, here are some of them Dee -dee -dee. So I can cut these apart and uh, trim them. I'm going to make them two and a half inch squares for my all-encompassing 
collection of two and a half inch squares I can sew into quilts as I go along making things. So I already did a few other ones, uh, and those are just those are those will go over there for later. I'm not doing that right now. Okay, I think that I'm going to sew the easy part on this project. Uh, what are you sewing? Are you sewing hard stuff, easy stuff tonight? Where are the directions for that? Oh, this this is it. I found it. <laughs> there are um, intersecting stars. Well, here I'll show you on this one. On the project, there are whoops the main stars, the big ones that have the the animals in them. And then on the intersections in between, there we go, are those little stars that have the plus sign in the middle. So that's what I'm going to make. I'm going to make some plus signs because I have everything cut out and that will make it super easy. So here are the directions. See, I've got for the plus sign. I want to show, see if I can show you this. Here is what I did. I think I can actually hold this up. Yeah? So I have this design board. I'm peeking over the top. So on the design board, I pretty much put, um, oh, it's staying there pretty good. This is, I. you can make these, but I don't want to make them, so I buy them. Uh, and I'll put a link down there. But they're flannel. And basically, I cut everything. I can't make it go too far because these are big stacks. See, see look at this. There's like, see the stack? See how thick it is? I can't, I don't want to tip it. But this is the stuff to do the red. Here's the centers with the animals. These are all things for the star points. I've got sashing. So I put it all on here. It is all cut. I never work like this, ever. So uh, I wanted to try it, which means I had to take time to get all that set up in advance, which that's kind of cool. You know, you just go through that list and cut all the parts and then I put them on there to keep them organized. So tonight now I am going to sew, I'm going to make 32 of these uh units of two red squares and a white strip so that would be these guys and these guys so this the white is in the middle and then there'll be a red on either side so that that I can set up where I could basically chain work right so I can do the stack of red, which I don't need that big of a stack over there. But I take a red and I take a white. Be sure you have one red so you're not like, that's the problem sometimes. Particularly when it's a solid is that it's hard to tell. You know, you want to be sure you're not sewing two together because we have awesome machines that will easily sew three layers together and you won't even know it. So be sure you have one, one square, and then I'll put the, oops, okay, so these are the wrong size. Can you see that? There's two sizes of these. I need the smaller ones. Oops. Reboot. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> here we go. I am going to take a look at uh, I'm going to take a look at what's going on here and see what's happening. Let's see. You're shocked that I don't pre-cut? Oh, no, I like to work like make a few, sew them. Make a few, sew them. I find cutting them all at once is so oh, interesting, but... Uh, I much prefer to cut a few and sew a few. I find that more satisfying. So we will see. We will see. We'll see if I like this method. I like to get up and move around. 
Okay, now my machine, I'm going to get ready. All right, so that's all coming in again. I'm going to flip this over so I can sew. And I don't know what you're sewing, but if you have a picture of it, put a picture of what you're sewing in there so everybody else can see. I think that would be fun. Now, generally, I will hold everything over here, but since my camera is there, I think it would be, you can't see what I'm doing, so I'm chain sewing. And these are little bitty things. These little uh, strips are one and three fourths, so they're not very big. And uh, that means I want to be more careful because they're not very big, that means my margin of error is much smaller. So that if I get slightly skewed going either way, it, um, it'll make crappy blocks. You know, you'll be sewing and they won't be accurate. And you know how I am about that. That's not good. So we need them to be accurate. Which just means I have to think about it a little bit more. You want to see the block behind my head. Oh, I can't get up. So uh, if you go to my website, I love to make quilts.com, you can see it. So uh, the blocks, the blocks behind my head, the houses, they're all at I love to make quilts.com. That's where they are today. I put that up there today so you can go see them, but I can't get up and go get it. I have a very short cord connected here. And it's a, and I've got an iron, I've got cords on the floor. You know, this isn't my optimum sewing. I wouldn't have all this attached to me if I was doing regular sewing. You know, like if you were sitting on the other side of the table. Okay. So, I'm not used to sewing and talking to the camera. <laughs> not for just this, you know. This is just like watching paint dry. So I hope you are having something that you're doing. Uh, now, how many did I say I needed? Are you, are you keeping track? <laughs> you're not, are you? No, neither am I. Okay, so it says 32. Now, I keep a bunch of pens over there. I can't reach them. But because, uh, you know, like with patterns, it's often... They're saving room so that you know to print. You don't have to print. You know everybody writes pattern. You, they don't want you to print 800 pages, so everything gets sort of tight. And often what I do is I will make notes like that are much bigger because I don't want to keep looking. So here we go. I have a pen, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 32 because then I know that this is how many I have to make. That way I don't have to really keep track. And uh, also sometimes like if I make 10, if I've made 10, I will go ahead and you know mark that off so that I know how many I've made. So I will use, you see him? The unicorn? Yes. <laughs> okay, so get rid of that half square triangle. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. We'll keep making a few more. Um, now I could go, probably I would press all these at once. Like I'm not going to, you know, take off 10 and press 10, anything like that. I'll probably just mark that I did 10, just so that I don't have to count them again. So I don't have to keep recounting and recounting because I think I cut a few extra of the white of these white ones. Um, so that's why I can't just really go by exact. Remember I said that I had a little extra so I just cut them up in case some of these maybe were a little weird or wonky. Okay. What do I got up here? All right. Let me switch back for a minute. 
So Yvonne says she likes my um, guide beam. That's what comes on a lot of the baby lock machines. You can get it on the Crescendo, and this is on the Destiny 2. So it actually, this is um, a beam that comes with it, and you can adjust it. Can, oh, I'll do this so you can see. Let me switch back. If I've got something under there, can you see that? So it can go back and forward. And then I can reset so it moves so I can do whatever I want with it all right who else is down here oh Renee is making a fall disappearing nine patch table runner oh that sounds really pretty oh so I want to see okay well, Donna is making me feel nice. She says uh, she says she thinks I lost weight. I don't know, but I'll take it. Yeah. So Sabine wants to get back in her sewing room. That's awesome. Get in there. Okay. So I have a couple other questions. Michelle, let me see. Michelle was asking. Uh, does the laser come with this? Yeah, so at some machines, the laser comes built in. For baby lock, certain models, this is a Destiny 2, uh, has it. Um, let's see, Michelle says, why is the room left on the red side of the fabric where the white should cover it? Okay, so let me go over here. The, the strip in the middle for the project Let's see if I can make this. This is a block that has a big square and a white strip and another red square. So they aren't the same size. The red, the white is half of the size or just about of the red. It's They're not the same size squares. It's to make a plus sign inside of a square. So the actual pattern calls for this size fabric that's why the white looks like that um i need a production assistant <laughs> well the production assistant is the shipping department and he did set up all of these things tonight uh all of the electronics all of the hookups so he has been doing all of that Unless you mean a production assistant for some other manner, but uh, that works good. Okay, so I am just sewing along. I don't know what you're sewing on. I hope if you're at your machine, are you like sitting at your machine? Here, I'll move this back over. Can you see that I have the tablet up on the top? If I'm not sewing like a madman, this will just sit here nicely it doesn't go anywhere if i am like looking down i can look up like this for working like today i'm just sort of putting it up over putting it over here on the side oh <laughs> okay i have no idea how many of these i made one two let me let me switch it so how many did i make one two three four five six 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 13 for Friday the 13th. I'm going to mark 13. And then I am going to pull, I'm going to cut off 10 of them with the magic unicorn scissors, right? One, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> so is this like watching paint dry to watch me sew? I don't know. Here is here and do this. Ta da! So these these are one half of the of the plus sign. So when this is opened like that, then for the plus sign I will sew a piece to there. And then two of these will have a white strip across it to make the white plus sign in the middle of the red. So that is what is in the center of the stars 
that are the setting for this pattern. So these can go, these can go back there. Let's see who else. So Roz is multitasking and uh, <laughs> did the vacuuming ever happen? Shh. I don't know if he's listening, but no. If he did, he just vacuumed his own area. No vacuuming happened anywhere else. But uh, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it does. Okay. So normally I would sew this stuff much faster because I would be just sort of in my own thoughts, uh, sewing along, not looking up. <laughs> Not switching cameras, but this is fun. I've not really done this, uh, you know, done these kind of this sort of sew along like this. So I hope you like it. I hope it's kind of fun, just kind of relaxed and chatting. Uh, this is Friday, and so Friday, right? Yeah, this is cool. Oh, what else is going on? Who else is talking here? So people, okay, so Diane is finishing a cross bag with three zippers and two extra pockets in teal and purple. Oh, that sounds really nice, Diana. You need to, um, you need to show us when you're done. Okay. Marilyn, why did I not sew three strips together and then cut this block? So let me, uh, let me show you this. I'm going to cut one of these off of here. So here is what eventually will be, right? Let me just pr finger press this. So I'm going to finger press that. This is what it would be. So what Marilyn is saying to me there, oh, I'm going to put it down here, right? Okay, so this is what, let me see, ba upside down and backwards. Okay, so that's one piece. Then there's a strip in the middle. And then there'll be another one on the other side. So Marilyn was asking, why didn't I sew one long strip of red, one long strip of white, and one long strip of red? That is a one way you can do that. I decided to just follow the pattern. So the pattern was not written that way. I read the pattern and I didn't want to do any math. I didn't want to rethink anything. And so I just cut everything up just like the pattern's written, um, which doesn't bother me at all. It It's probably a bit faster to do it the other way. Uh, you have, when you have a, especially a 40 inch wide strip and you've got, um, narrow I mean this is narrow it's only one and three one and three fourths let me just flip that so this piece is pretty narrow when you have a really long strip like this sewing it accurately can sometimes in be a little difficult you're gonna maybe have a little bit more waste maybe not depends on how your technique is and how good you are at sewing that but I thought eh. I am just going to do it as it's written. So that's, that's kind of why, but there's always more. I really believe there's pretty much always more than one way to make a project. If you want to look at every pattern that you get, you look at it, you can probably figure out a shortcut or a little different way of doing something that you know because you've done it before. Um, and that's awesome. That's what it's all about. Doing uh, your craft and your hobby that works for you. Um, this time, I just followed the pattern. So that's what that was. So somebody has their, st I missed your name there, and I already said it to scroll, but they are using their step counter and they know uh, the distance in their craft room 
for what 100 steps is. That's clever. So you know where you're going. Oh, I have to count these again because now I'm not sure I counted them right. You know, talking and doing this at the same time. So that's 10. And do I have the next 10? Okay, that's exactly 10. That's under there. So I'll do one more, and then I can trim off that 10. So that's 20 of the 32. All right, so let me trim off a 10. So, These are kind of like stork scissors, but unicorns. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So I have... Whoops. Listen. So I've done. I've done 20 of 32. Ah, it's kind of slow, huh? But that's just because we're talking. Otherwise, it would go pretty fast. Oh. So the other thing I wanted to show you. Um, is that the, uh, I had a couple of people asking questions from yesterday's video about the calendar, um, that my friends Amy and Heather have for 2018, which has also has the quilt in it. The, the calendar is a quilt pattern. Uh, and so I thought I would show you, a, give you a little bit more information on that. Um, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's a quilt pattern that's a calendar. Uh, but I have, let me grab it over here. I brought it, I brought it over tonight because I thought I would just give you a bit more. Get a drink of water. Okay, so this is, this is their pattern that I'm going to sew along with them. And, uh, the quilt, that whole quilt is 68 by 74. People wanted to know how big it was. Um, and there are multiple size blocks. So let me just hold that. So there are um, 12 inch and 6 inch blocks. And then what was one of the other ones? I think there was, oh, nine, 12, six, and nine in this particular quilt. So each month, there are 12 different designs, and each month um, is one of them. And then you sew up however many to make this full quilt, or you could make that particular block into a table runner or a single quilt or something like that. But there's 12 different blocks for you know one per month that's pretty much what it is but to make this exact quilt you make multiples of each block um, and I am going to use fun fabric I have been dying to do something where I just pull super fun fabric and I love the cotton and steel fabric because it's really quirky uh, and cool they have lots of um, really you know just playful patterns and I've got I've got a small collection of it but I got the beauty shop this is the beauty shop one so I got a package of the beauty shop one because the cats are darling just darling look at that she's so sweet so sweet I don't even have cats but I like my neighbor's cat and my neighbor's cat likes me so I think that's a plus, but I would, I, I thought I'd open this and show you what's in here. Do you like opening the layer cakes? It's like a present. They've got, but they've also got all this, you know, these sleeves on it. So I don't know. I'm just going to cut it. I'm just going to cut across. There we go. Cause I have to save the paper. I have to save the little sticker. Okay. Oh, trash. All right, so I showed you the kitty. 
Then there's also these, um, there's a print that's got like raindrops. So it's a nice like little ditzy print, I would call it. And I love the background because the background is like this natural, like this um, slubby. It's not, it doesn't have that texture, but it has that look. Here are the candies. Look at them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They are like you would get from your grandma, right? You know, when we did grandma's candies, did your grandma have, they looked just like that. And they had sort of a, like they were like a hard candy with a jelly inside. Do you remember those? Okay, the other thing, this is the beauty shop, remember? So here are the beauty supplies. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. I love quirky, fun fabrics. So this project for the calendar is going to be fun to do that because there's a lot of bigger spaces. And I may even use some of these as backgrounds and use like a tonal in the front. Then the then the then uh, there's a, but a pretty butterfly. So there's that print. And what else is here? Remember, it's the beauty shop. You know, I like to I like to do my nails. So I've got hands. They're so sweet with rings and bracelets. Okay, then there's this big mod flower. There's one. I think that's cool. And then it goes into other colors. So there's navy. I'm going to switch this. So there's a navy colorway and then a lighter blue. There's some more of the dark blue. Look at this navy with the gold. I'm, I'm sort of liking this gold a lot. Then there's this chartreuse green. I love this green with blue. And then, like I said the other night, there was a couple of actually true greens. So, so that is, uh, I'm going to use this to kickstart uh, that quilt. And then I will just go and I'll get some of their basics. They have a lot of really cool basics and add in. <clears throat> Before we get started, I'll, I'll write a, a post about this, but also share it a lot because probably do a lot of those kind of things like that particular project I might probably will share it a lot more here in the Facebook group um, and just talk about it here uh, since that's where you all are hanging out so I had a couple other questions um, what is the foot that I'm using down here <clears throat> so the baby lock this is the quarter inch foot with a um, seam guide Excuse me. So on the right side, this has a um, <clears throat> an edge guide, and on the edge guide, what that does is you you, you put your fabric <clears throat> right up in there. Let me do this so that I'm I'm you know you see the guide the guide beam, but I also have. The edge of the fabric goes right, right to this guide post. It just banks up against it so that when I sew, it just feeds that. That's just another way to mark. <clears throat> You've probably seen people who have um, like put thick layers of uh, painter's tape or shoe insert stuff next to their machine to get like an edge build up so they just push the fabric up against it this is instead of that you just use the foot <coughs> I'll let you look at it a little closer there <coughs> so Susie thanks to Susie wanted to, this Susie just said this is better than watching TV <laughs> So, well, that's fun. I'm not sure. Might be watching paint dry, but uh, I try to have fun. But she wants to know how often I do these, and I have no set time. I do them <clears throat> whenever I can, uh, whenever I have something interesting. This tonight's kind of an experiment of just hanging out for an hour. Uh, in the evening 
because, you know, it's late uh, for me. I've worked all day. Uh, so, you know, doing demos and tutorials and everything like that, this is this not my time of day to do that. Um, but I can sit and chat and sew a little bit, very little bit. <laughs> I, I did not progress very far on this project in an hour. Uh, mostly I've been talking. This is the way it is when I get together with my friends. I always go and I spend all my time talking. But uh, I'm going to try to give at least an announcement in the mornings when I'm going to do this in the evening and, you know, maybe the day before. But generally, I'll probably just tell you that day when I'm going to have one of these in the evening. Otherwise, if I'm doing other ones, they're probably, uh, they're more, would be more like a tutorial or a review or just popping in to say hi during the day. Those are more impromptu. And you're going to, and, and you get the same information watching them later. Um, so that's kind of, uh, thanks for asking, but that's kind of what I do, how it, how this works. Okay. Should I sew a few more of these? Do you think I could possibly get all 32 made in while we're sitting here? I don't know. Do you like the um, the camera uh, like this where you can see, you know, d down here and up above, you know, the where I'm talking to you in the smaller one? I kind of like that because I feel like I can look up and uh, you, you see me, you can see me talking to you versus just, you know, the sewing machine bed. So I'm hoping that you at least got a project out tonight so that when we're done, now I know I'm, I live on the East Coast, so I'm on East, East Coast time, but I know a lot of you are in other parts of the country, other parts of the world, and so you're on different time zones. Australia might be morning, you have a whole day ahead of you. Um, the West Coast, you're just starting your evening, you, you know, getting home. So I, I want you to sew more. That is, that is one of my goals. <laughs> it's like, I sew more, you sew more. Um, we have a lot of fun. This is what we want to do. Yes, we like to buy the fabric and have it and pet it and look at it. But really, for me, I want to sew it. I want to see what it looks like when I cut it up and put it back together. That is my inspiration. Okay, that's only seven. Okay, my goal is to get these 32 done before we're finished. That is like a minor goal because that's really not very much. And I only have a few more to do. How many do I need again? 32. Okay, I'm talking and counting numbers. This is it's not my strong point. Talking, yes, that is. Talking and then counting numbers and then remembering the numbers while I'm still talking, no. <laughs> I have to write them down. Okay, so how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's ten. That means I need two more. I can do it. I can do it. Here's 31. So we have the countdown. 31 and 32. So let me sew those together. Here we go. All right. So when you get together with your friends to sew, do you actually um, do you actually sew or do you just talk? Okay, so let me show you here. For the baby lock, whenever I stop, I've got this. Can you see that where it lifted? I have it set so that whenever I am needle down and I stop, my presser foot lifts. This is perfect for when I'm doing applique because then I don't, I can pivot and do all kinds of things. For here, because I can do two things. I can either use the scissors and I can just cut it. Uh, 
which I'll, I'll show you in a second. Or, so when I do that, if I use the scissor command, it's just going to cut the thread. Otherwise, I could lift the, the needle, then lift the foot, and pull it out and cut it with the unicorn scissors. But instead, I am going to now use the... Did you hear it go? So now it's cut. So it does it for me, and it leaves small little tail of threads which are really tidy um, and that uh, cleans it all up nicely so whee! so I have these and these and almost a whole nother one here yeah there we go so this whole grouping then I am going to press them so that it's to the red side I'll just show you one so I'm going to press the the seam allowance can you see yeah I'll press it to the red because I don't want anything shadowing shadowing if you're not familiar with that term means that you would see that dark line behind the white you would see the seam allowance you would see the seam allowance behind the white I don't know probably can't do that on here very well but you know you know it when you're doing it you can go you can look down and you're gonna see the whole seam allowance under the lighter color fabric so that's why we press it to the dark side press it to the dark side it's a it's a good thing I'm just gonna look and see what's going on here and uh, see if there's a few more little chatter things we can talk about so Annette says she and Susie are talking about their husbands watching football. They're watching football tonight. Um, you're watching quilting and they're watching football. So you can do that like on your phone or on your tablet and it looks like you're doing something else, right? So and if you put in earphones, you know, earplugs, you can listen and nobody knows. Yeah. So, right? Oh, so did you like that? Who just said this? I, okay, it was um, Kim. Kim says, the flower in that fabric is so me. It is me. I just love that. The, I'm going to have fun. I think there's some big spaces in that quilt to use the beauty shop fabric. Okay. All righty. So somebody liked my cup, my water cup. So this is... Um, this is water. I drink a lot of water. Uh, I don't know. I always like to put all my liquids in large cups so I don't have to go fill them up all the time. So this is one of these, what do they call it? Tervis, right? T-E-R-V-I-S. Yeah, Tervis cup. And they don't have this black thing that is what's, um, what comes off. I don't want to spill it on my sewing machine. But this is this handle is an, is just slides down, but it does fit real snug, but you just sort of pop it down and then you can clean this and you can put these handles then on anything. I just like to use a handle. I don't really like to hold it with my hand. So All right, so someone asked on there and I'll show this to you again about the board for how I when I cut everything up in advance so I saw that question so here's the board these are I'll put a link but I buy them because I don't want to mess around with making boards that I'd rather spend my time doing something else and so they're they have a flannel but then I could this fit this whole quilt pretty much all but the border fabric is on here so I cut them by different units some of these will need to be sub cut like this big square and these squares all of these will be cut again because they're used for um, the star points to go around these guys this is these are the fellas let me see I just have to show you the other animals I show I'll show you the deer okay here is <laughs> here's the goose. Oh my gosh! So they have Christmas sweaters and glasses. 
Here's the deer. I love the um, the the antlers with the ornaments on them. Okay, and then there's one other animal. Oh yeah, you have to have the dog. I'm kind of a dog person, so that is that is the middle of the stars for the big project, and. Here it is. So that's in the link already. I already put it up there when I started. And so that's what I was sewing on. And where I was sewing was these X's right here. So that was that's the part. Okay. I hope you have fun. <laughs> I am actually going to sew more stuff on this tonight and faster faster <laughs> faster than this that wasn't very much <laughs> uh, but I'll do it I'll have and uh, this has been super fun I will also go back and uh, skim through your comments and I will add to the links up above the other things that I talked about so that uh, if you're looking for them um, like the super cute unicorn scissors we all need unicorn scissors right um thanks again for being here thank you for being part of my community i'll put a link to sign up for my newsletter in case you haven't done that yet because i know there's a lot of new people i add new people every single day like lots of you so i'll put that in there too and uh this was fun if you want to do it again let me know leave a comment uh, if this is something that interests you, it's very, very informal. I'm not doing any teaching. It's just basically hanging out for an hour. So if you liked it, let me know. So I'll chat with you later, chat with you online. Pat Sloan for um, Book Along with Pat Sloan. This has been a Facebook Live. And if you're watching it in the um, recording, thanks so much. See you later.